In this video, we'll try to understand how to find out beam reactions in case of a simply supported beam carrying point load, uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load. So this is the typical example that we are seeing over here. So as shown over here, we are having a simply supported beam of total span length of 6 meter and carrying a point load of 100 Newton at a distance of 1 meter from the left hand support and uniformly varying load of 200 Newton per meter up to 400 Newton per meter between C and B. So we have to first convert this uniformly varying load into two parts. The first part is so we'll concentrate only on this particular part first. So first we'll convert this particular part into uniformly distributed load of 200 Newton per meter. So you can see this is the rectangle or a rectangular distribution of 200 Newton per meter throughout. So this total load is 400. From this 200 we have to subtract so that this height of the triangular distribution or uniformly varying load will be 400 minus 200 that is 200. So this is 200 Newton per meter height of the triangular distribution. So it starts from now 0 up to 200 Newton per meter. So this is the important part. So we have converted over here the UDL and UVL into point loads and at the respective distances. So UDL load is nothing but the we have to concentrate on this particular rectangle so that will be base into height. So base is nothing but 3 meter and height is nothing but 200 so it is 600 Newton. Then the CG of the rectangle is light, it lies at a distance of B by 2. So location of the UDL load will be B upon 2 that is 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 meter and already we are having a point load of 100 Newton over here. So as you can see 100 Newton point load as it is there is no change in that. Then now we are having this particular rectangular distribution that is nothing but the uniformly distributed load of 600 Newton and acting at 1.5 meter that is half of this base that is 3 meter length. Now the remaining part is that of the uniformly varying load. So this white part is nothing but the triangular distribution or uniformly varying load from 0 up to 200. So let us see. So UVL load will be having total will be one half base into height that is the area of this triangular distribution base is again 3 and this height that we have already seen it is only 200. So this will be 300 Newton and the CG of the triangle will lie at a distance of 2 third from the 2 third into B from the apex. So from the apex that is this is the apex it is 2 by 3 into B and B is nothing but 3 so 3 3 will get cancelled so it will be acting at a distance of 2 meter. So UVL load is of 300 and it is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the apex. So that we have shown over here and already we are having a point load of 100 Newton acting at a distance of 1 meter. So in totality we are having this point load of 100 Newton UDL this UDL of 200 Newton per meter which is converted into point load of 600 Newton acting at a distance of 1.5 meter then this UVL of 300 Newton acting at a distance of 2 meter from the apex of this particular or from point C in this particular case. So these are the loads which are there acting in this particular system. So applying the conditions of equilibrium over here so summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0 upward forces they are positive so RA and RB they are positive then this 600 it is negative it is acting in the downward direction this 300 also it is acting in the downward direction so that is negative and this 100 Newton force that is also acting in the downward direction so that is also negative. So we can say that RA plus RB is equal to 1000 Newton. Now we have to take moments about point A so these are the various loads which we have converted into point load that we have already seen. So summation of moment about A is equal to 0 clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. So start with this RB. RB will have anti-clockwise moment. So arrow of the RB will go in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it is minus RB into 6. Then this 600 will produce clockwise moment about A. So it is 600 into 1.5 plus 3 that is 4.5 then this 300 this will produce clockwise moment again about a that is 3 plus 2 total perpendicular distance is 5 and this 100 newton force it also produces clockwise moment about a so it is 100 into 1. So we can say that 4300 transfer this minus rb into 6 on this side so it will become positive so rb will be equal to 4300 divided by 6 
that is 716.67 newton now we have to substitute this value in equation 1 so equation 1 is ra plus rb is equal to 1000 that is ra is equal to 1000 minus rb that is 1000 minus 716.67 so we can say that ra is equal to 283.33 newton so in this way we can find out the reactions support reactions ra and rb in case of a simply supported beam carrying a point load uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load thank you very much for watching